Growing up, living close by my grandparents, some of my most vivid memories are of my grandfather, Dedo Mirko, having vivacious discussions about politics. This film is an ode to those memories and an attempt to understand what role politics played in the history of his life. The earliest trace of politics having a significant impact on my grandfather's life can be traced back to his grandfather, my Prededo Mirce. Prededo Mirce was born in Dobrushevo, Macedonia in 1874 during the Ottoman occupation of Macedonia. Two years after the end of World War I and the dissolution of the Ottoman Empire, at the age of 46, Prededo Mirce became the mayor of Pelagonia, working under the rule of Serbia. Dedo Mirko often tells stories about Pre Dedo Mirce's treasurer, Milan Milatinovic, a Serbian national who reported directly to King Alexander of Yugoslavia. Such were his connections to Serbia, Predator Domircia owned property in Niche and even attended the king's funeral in 1934. A grey day. Even the sombre skies seem in sympathy with this nation in its bereavement. Creed, class and nationality are forgotten. This is a common sorrow. The Royal Navy and Marines represented the British services. They marched with detachments of troops from other nations, all paying a last respect to the dead king. Two years later, in 1936, Dedo Mirko was born and by the age of nine, the Communist Party led by Josif Tito had taken over and demanded Pre Dedo Mirce continue working for them in Bitola, the city of consuls. He worked six months for a government he loathed and feared before finally convincing a doctor to write a statement claiming he was no longer fit for work, given he was already 70 years old. Three years after that event, Dedo Mirko describes as the toughest of his life. From 1947 to 1950, Pelagonia endured a politically induced famine whereby half of the family's farmland and livestock were taken, rates and taxes increased, and the threat of political persecution was constant. In 1957, Dedo Mirko was conscripted to serve his two years in the Yugoslavian army. Before leaving, his grandfather gave him a letter. Dedo Mirko Considering the stranglehold Tito had during this time and the history Predeto Mirce had as a politician, it was miraculous that the Popovskis avoided persecution. Dedo returned in 1959, the same year Predo passed away at the age of 85. The following year, Dedo married my Baba Kita and made the decision to leave Macedonia. Four years later and three months after the birth of my dad, Dedo set sail for Sydney. Influential people from the motherland continued to visit him until the collapse of Yugoslavia in 1991. In Australia, Dedo worked as a barman at the local Richmond Rath base. He befriended many of the officers he served who were intrigued by his insight and ability to talk politics. In fact, in 1980, a group of ex-officers asked to publish a feature in the local Hawkesbury Gazette on his life and political views on Australia's migration policies. Dedo politely declined, knowing that word would eventually travel back to Macedonia, putting him at risk of being unable to return again. Politics has shaped my grandfather's identity across time and place. I can trace my own roots of my own sense of self as an educator in an increasingly globalised world back to my dedo and prededo.